Hey guys, and welcome back to Kelly TV. As you know, I've been exploring who could possibly be AD, so as we lead up to the finale, I'm giving you my top suspects. Another highly requested suspect is Ezra. Now, let me tell you, I have wanted Ezra to be AD since the very beginning of this show. He was always my number one pick. I tell you guys that all the time. And when they kind of sort of made him seem like A and he had the lair and all of that, I was so, 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 so excited. I wanted that more than anything. Of course, it turned out that he really wasn't A, or was he? I mean, he's probably one of the most, if not the most, sketchiest person on this show, especially all of his dealings with underage girls, and he's just always doing something shady. So these past 10 episodes where we know that AD has been in these episodes, they've probably had a high focus on them, he's had more airtime than pretty much anyone else who's not one of the liars. So I find it really weird that they've played him up super big in these last 10 episodes and the whole thing with Nicole honestly never made sense to me. I don't buy a lot of that. Something is not right with that scenario and I just feel like that leads more into like what is his deal? What is his shadiness? He was always leaving to go deal with her or was he really leaving because he was AD? I guess the biggest clue to me as to why he could be AD is the fact that AD has been protective over Arya and has shown favor for her over everyone else and wanted to make sure that she was kind of off the hook before everyone else was and of course who would be more protective of her, who cares about her more, who would be closer to her than of course her own fiance Ezra. So that is the major clue that points to him, especially in these last 10 episodes. But let's think about this. He was obsessed with Ali, so we have that connection. And when Marlene's been talking about unrequited love, maybe he's still secretly in love with her. I don't know. Maybe he's really, really weird. I mean, we know he's weird enough to prey on young girls, but maybe he still has a thing for her or hasn't gotten over that they didn't end up together or whatever. So we know there's that going on. He may be, you know, like a Jekyll and Hyde kind of person, have a different side to him where he's, you know, really angry and whatever at some points, and then at other points he's a really nice person. But I definitely think that it's weird with all of the focus that has been on him and been on their relationship. And he's been kind of a jerk to Arya through a lot of these last 10 episodes. So um, he's been always been a person who would have the means to do some of the AD-like stuff, even if he had AD tendencies from the beginning. Because he was way older than everyone else, he had more money than they did when they were in high school. I mean, what I'm saying here is he had more money than anybody who was in high school at that time as a student, so he had the you know means to do more things that AD would do, and he's super smart, so as far as who made up the game and who did all of that, he could be paying someone or blackmailing someone to do those things for him. We know that AD has not worked alone and that someone has been helping AD, so you know, he probably has his little minions, even Ren could be involved in this, and whoever else that he's blackmailing, because I think that is how AD works. But those are just some clues hinting to me that Ezra could be AD. If you think that Ezra is AD, tell me down below what clues you think point to him being AD. If you don't think he's AD, then tell me who you think is AD and why. If you didn't know, I'm doing so many videos, live chats, etc, etc, not only leading up to the finale, but this entire week after the finale, reflecting on what happened and trying to go back and trace if we can figure out why this person was AD, whoever is revealed. I'm watching the show live, East Coast time. You can watch my reaction live if you want to. So much going on this week. Also, I wanted to let you know there is a special Pretty Little Liars live chat, 4 p.m. Eastern Monday. It is the Who is AD live chat where we can do all of our last minute theories about who is AD. We may even have a second live chat Tuesday if you guys want it. If this video gets to 1,000 likes, 1,000 thumbs up, I will do a special live chat before the finale if you guys want it. 1,000 thumbs up and we can make that happen. Anyway, if you want to stay in the know about what's going on here at Kelly TV, if you don't want to miss any videos, subscribe, like this video, turn on the notifications, and you may be shouted out on my channel. Today's shout out goes to Zoe Harding. Zoe, thank you so much for turning on my notifications and for watching my videos. Post notification squad down below if you want to be shouted out in one of my next videos. I hope your day is going fabulous. I will see you soon. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kelly TV. I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of the Kelly TV family. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter so you can keep up with all I'm doing.